Dollar General was hit with a lawsuit from two black women who claimed that they were racially discriminated against while shopping at a South Charleston, West Virginia location. The customers, identified as Alexandria Schaffner and Katrina Mitchell, filed separate complaints concerning their experience at the store last August, the West Virginia Record reports. The store's manager, Joyce Roberts, and Dolgen Corp, a store subsidiary, are the defendants. The women are seeking damages and claim Roberts, who is white, targeted them due to their race. The duo alleged that when they entered the store, Roberts appeared to be shocked because they were the only people of color in the establishment. After deciding not to purchase anything, they started to walk out of the store. And the anti theft detector, which can be manually set off by staff, started ringing. Schaffner and Mitchell then decided to go back into the store and open their purses to straighten out the misunderstanding. In response, Roberts allegedly told them that if y'all bleep, that means you took something and proceeded to call the police in front of other shoppers. They accused the manager of describing them as all black. The outlet reports that the women waited until local police got to the scene. Upon arrival, Roberts claimed they stole from the store, which prompted the officer to search their bag. He also made them go through the detectives again to ensure it didn't go off. In addition, the officer requested their identification because the manager wanted to bar them from all locations. According to the report, the plaintiff stated that the incident caused them emotional distress and humiliation. Back in 2019, Dollar General had to pay out a $6 million settlement following a discrimination lawsuit that stated the retailer chain didn't hire black people at a significantly higher rate than white applicants for failing their background screening. And that was per the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission report. Now, find a new writer. Joe said, just two of them from the hood looking for an easy payday. Wait a minute. Whoa, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. David said, so they came back in after they ditched the stolen merchandise outside? Uh, that's probably what happened. You keep talking, man, and you shut the fuck up. P.T. Zahut stated, of course they were shoplifting. They were only outraged that they got caught. Why did you just leave us here, Lord? Why? Hill said, mm, we need to have segregation back in this country. That would be nice. And the way we can do away with these people that would rather sue than get a job. And, 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 you know, truth be told, I'm not a very big fan of the black people. Gary said, even money says they were trying to steal from the store. Wouldn't surprise me any if they set this up so that they can sue the store. And wait a minute. Do y'all see what I see? Do you see what I see? Aaron said, we don't need any kind around these parts. When we're trying to shop, all they do is cause trouble. It's just like, man, it's like, where is God in this conversation? <laughs> Rosemary said, show proof, please. That's what happened in the score. When Atlanta Black Star shows proof with camera footage from when they came into the store, walked around, left, bleep, and came back in, then it might persuade people. Now, I'm going to do a background check on these two ladies. Whatever will I find? White people. So as we can clearly see, the true Americans 100% feel, many of them feel, that the two black women are on Section 8, some type of government assistance. Um, they don't work, don't have any type of job, no type of income. Um, low class, that they more than likely have a multitude of kids, and that they are taking up the greater majority and causing the greatest amount of debt to America. A lot of them, as you were able to hear, um, feel that they need to bring back segregation. And they even said way worse stuff, but I could not post that due to the fact of YouTube's policy uh, when it deals to their terms and services. Couldn't couldn't put that up there. But just note that it was some um, very negative and derogatory and stereotypical things that they wanted to state about black women. Right. And again, nobody wanted to believe the fact that, hey, um, they stayed there and they 
you know, gave out their IDs and they allowed their purses to be checked not once but twice. And yet nothing seemingly from what we can understand from the article was found. And the guy wanted them banned. Isn't that amazing? And not just banned from that store. He was like, you know what? I don't just want you banned from here. I want you banned from all stores. Because for some whatever reason, he thought that the Dollar General is pretty much the spot, the go-to for people i guess uh, i i guess that is the i guess that's the hottest wave directly out there dollar general ooh it's the it spot for everybody to go to shop for their cheap needs so i guess he was really trying to stick it to them right realistically dollar general along with many other dollar stores are a dying breed they were pretty well and pretty good back in the early 2000s they were popping up all over the place and then you have some of them start to close up shop and also file for bankruptcy over the 10 plus years so again you know you have a lot of people who have a little bit of power and they smell themselves a little bit too frequently and they get used to that smell and they think that the stench that was horrible that was rancid now smells and became sugar roses and gumdrops so here you have it this is what happens when you have one man with way too much power and as listed directly in that article which was brand new to me they stated that they have the ability to set off the alarm as they so see fit some also likened that ability to the effect of police when they have a dog where they want to search the dog and they want to tell the dog, yeah, right here, you smell drugs. So they'll maybe snap a finger, tap a shoe. They may try to coerce the dog into, you know, making a false positive just so that they can proceed with arresting somebody and trumping up a variety of charges. So we'll see what will take place or what evidence, um, if any, um, will be shown if maybe the head of the dollar general at least that one will bring together footage to show that hey he was 100 percent in the right hopefully it's the full footage it's not doctored or cut in any specific type of way to make it seem like something that it's not the other thing that i will also state to a lot of black people is that you have to be very aware of your surroundings you got to be aware of the stores that you just so happen um to go into right? Um, Because a lot of individuals, a lot of stores don't specifically want you there. They want your money, right? But they don't specifically want you there. This is why it's pretty much a hot commodity at this moment in time for black people to do a lot of online shopping versus going into a brick and mortar. And that's only if they actually need to go into a brick and mortar, because at this moment in time, you can pretty much get all of your goods, toiletries, um, bottled water, Um, clothing, and even to the effect, depending on the grocery store, you can even order your groceries online and have them delivered directly to your house. So pretty much you don't even have to go out unless you really, really, really want to go out. But again, you know, this is just something that is par the course that black people always have to deal with, where it is that you will have individuals that will proceed to blame the state that black people are doing something that they can't even show 100% proof of at the moment in time.